Realtors, welcome to your day eight of your video marketing boot camp. This is Jenny Aldretti with Lux Mortgage Team out of Texas, and George and I are glad you're here. As always, we love helping you grow your business. And if you have a client with any home loan needs, we're here to serve. Okay, so let's talk about what we've discussed so far. We've talked about time blocking. So we need to make sure that if you're really going to have a social media strategy, that you make time for it every single day. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that you have a mindset shift about what social media is. Social media is not this place that we go where we just spend hours on end going down a wormhole looking at other people's lives. Social media is a free platform where we're able to market our businesses to people and meet them where they're at in a manner that allows us to save time and be extremely efficient. It also gives us access to data that we would not have anywhere else. So where else in the world will we basically get a view into everyone's living room, what's important to them and what's going on in their everyday lives, and have them have access to us as well at no cost at all? It's literally genius. So yes, you can do your open houses, you can do your door knocking, you can do all of that. But imagine if you could connect with an extra thousand people a week. Do you think that that would change the momentum in your business? Heck yeah, it would. So you're going to put your social media into your prospecting time. And I think we can all agree when our business gets busy, prospecting is the first thing that falls off. We get so busy putting out fires, dealing with our current clients. And I also think we get under the assumption that people are thinking about us a lot more than they actually are, even our past clients. But guess what? They're not. And if you're not in front of them, especially on social media, there's another realtor that is. So whether you schedule prospecting for an hour every single day, Or maybe you schedule it three times a week for two hours. However you schedule it and put it into your calendar, it needs to be a priority. And if you no longer have time to do it, then you have another problem. That means you are making so much money that it is time to hire someone to your team to either help you prospect or to take other things off your plate, which is a great problem to have. But you will plateau if you don't take care of that problem. Okay, so what does prospecting look like on social media? Okay, so because we were talking about Facebook yesterday, we're going to start there. Once again, I'm going to start on your Facebook personal profile because that's the priority on Facebook. So at this point, you should have already done video day six and seven. And if you needed me to do a Facebook audit, definitely request that. But your intro, your bio, and all of those things should be good to go. So that as you do the following things, you're in the perfect position. I would rather have a fully functional, ready-to-go personal page than a business page on Facebook any day of the week. So every single day on Facebook, on your personal page, you're going to do the following. The first part of your prospecting on Facebook is going to be focused on increasing your sphere. So you, of course, can do this on any of the platforms. It's just different on Facebook. I love Facebook because immediately it's more personal because you're literally asking someone to be your friend. And if they say yes, that means that they want a connection. They've looked at who you are and they've said yes. So what you're going to do is you're going to go look at one of your past clients who's already a friend of yours, someone who lives in the current city that you work in, or anyone that's a best friend, or really anybody who lives in the area that you work in that you want to sell or help someone buy in. And then you're going to go look and see who their friends are. And you're going to friend request 10 people a day. Now the next day, you're going to look to see who accepted your friend request. And anyone who accepted your friend request, you are going to DM them and tell them, thank you so much for accepting my friend request. I look forward to connecting. Now this is where you can make it your own personality. If you see something that you're connected in, maybe you went to the same high school or your kids have something in common with sports, then you can take the conversation from there. But do not sell them and do not bring up real estate. Make it a genuine connection. Just don't be creepy. And just a little advice to men reaching out to women. Don't just say, hey, Jenny, and then leave it at that. It sounds really creepy. Make sure you write in complete sentences and you're very clear about your purpose. Now let's talk about who you're not going to friend. You're not going to friend any other lenders besides me. Okay, that was a joke, kind of. But you're not going to friend a bunch of realtors. Now, of course, if there's realtors who you do business with or who will become referral partners with and who are amazing connectors with you, that's great. But otherwise, there does not need to be a ton of realtors on your Facebook personal page. In fact, if the majority of your friends are realtors, while you're going and you're asking for new friends every day, then part of your strategy needs to be removing realtors from your personal page so that you can make room for new people. Remember, you need to be adding people that can help you make money. And if there's people on there, including realtors or other people who aren't realtors, but that you know who won't help you make money, 
then remove them. Or if it's just people who bring you down, they're gone too. Whoever doesn't benefit you, either monetarily, spiritually, or just in life in general, by making you a better person, they're gone. Remember, in order to create momentum in your business, you have to surround yourself in your business and in life with people who will help elevate you both mentally, spiritually, and business-wise. So sometimes you have to clean house. And of course, you want to make sure that you're providing the same value back in all the ways. Okay, so for today, you want to continue checking on your personal profile on Facebook, making sure that everything is ready to go. If you need me to do a Facebook audit, I'm happy to do that. And then I want you to get out your calendar and I want you to commit to creating some sort of prospecting time. And then every single day, you're going to be adding 10 friends and then you're going to be thanking them through DMs for their friend request. Then you're going to be sending out those happy birthday videos through DMs. And so imagine if you do this every day, all of the new contacts you're making. So don't forget through that, you're also turning on the algorithm and letting Facebook know that you have connections with these people. And now they're going to be more likely to see the content that we'll also be creating. And then of course, you should have been working on that market update video. If you would like my feedback on that, just let me know. Access to the List Reports blog, which was a great resource for that market update every single week because they give you weekly talking points was in the comments of my last video. Now, a huge component of your social media strategy is going to have people connecting with you. And the only thing that separates you from any other agent out there is your storytelling, your own personal experiences. In the end, they don't care about your open houses or just solds or just listed. So while I will get into video and how to add captions and all of the things, all of the amazing editing is not necessary for good content. Good content does not need amazing editing. What we need right now is for you to get leads and for you to get closings. So here's the next video. Your most memorable open house experience and what you learned from it. This is where you're going to let your walls down. Some of y'all, this is going to be really hard. Storytelling is very hard for me. For others, this is going to be easy. Now, what's the purpose behind this video? It allows people to know that you're busy in real estate. They still get to see you as the expert, but they also get to connect with you as a human. Do not be afraid to put your own personality into this. If you're funny, be funny. If you want it to be educational, be educational. The most important thing is that you be you. Now, once again, if you're too nervous to post it, then normally I would say at least send it to one of your best friends. But I'm going to make you a little bit more uncomfortable today. Let's up the ante and have you send it to me. So record it on your camera phone and Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. It really doesn't matter. Post it in the morning, post it at night. But if you do post it on Facebook, don't forget to do the following. You're going to post it on your personal page. You're going to tag whoever your biggest fans are. You're going to share it to your story. You're also going to share it to your Facebook page story and your Facebook business page. You're going to share it to Facebook Reels. And you're going to share it to any appropriate Facebook groups. And then, of course, if you're comfortable and you're a veteran on social media, you're going to share it to all of your other platforms. Once again, if you have any questions, text me 512-589-7795. If you've never held an open house before, another option is to get on Google and just type top five things a home buyer should know when they walk through an open house and do an educational video. All right, we'll see you at day nine. Okay, guys, this video is going to be a rough one. I'm telling realtors that they have to tell stories which means getting more personal on social media. But if I'm telling them that they have to do that, that means that I have to do it too. And I hate this because I suck at it. I can teach all day long. I don't even know what to do. Hey Siri, this is the story about how I tell you how important storytelling is, and I don't know how to do it for myself. Storytelling prompts for social media. So if you suck at it like I do, I'm going to do some research and I'll let you know.